Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Dear viewers, people of God, I welcome you to today's morning devotion with our daily devotional guide, The Daily Fountain. We appreciate God for what He's doing in your life and we pray that God will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, bow your heads as we pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us into another day. We thank you because it is of your mercy that you have given us life. We appreciate your loving kindness. And as we look into your word, Father, we ask that you inspire our hearts. We ask that you bless us. We ask that you equip and strengthen us for the work of today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today is Sunday, the 21st day of July, 2019. And the passage for our devotion this morning is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, as recorded by St. Luke, chapter 15, we read verses 11 to 32. Luke 15, we read 11 to 32. Then Jesus said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pots that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet and bring the fatted calf here and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he had music and dancing. 
So he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours came, who had devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed the fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive. Again he was lost and is found. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our topic this morning says, I will arise. I will arise. The passage we read is one of uh, the popular passages in the scriptures. An interesting one indeed. A story of a father who had two sons. The younger woke up one morning and asked the father to give him all that belongs to him. Whatever the father has for him, he should hand them over to him, for he thought in his heart that he was now matured enough to take care of himself. He, his father obliged and gave him part of his properties. And after a few days, this young man gathered all these properties and went into a far country, far country, far away from the reach of his father, far away from the watchful eyes of his father. Of course, far away from the protections of his father. People of God, sometimes we think we can do without God. And we decide to go doing things our own way. And whenever we decide to do things our own way outside God, we are putting ourselves in serious danger because whenever we move away from God, we move away from his guidance, we move away from his protections, we live our own life the way we want it, we will surely run ourselves, in, run ourselves into danger. So, this young man went away into a far country and there he engaged in prodigal living. He engaged himself in fornication, in adultery, in drunkenness, in smoking, in cheating, in all manner and all form of prodigality. It was not long the whole money was wasted and he began to be in want. People of God, listen to me this morning. When you are living outside the cover of God, outside the protection of God, outside the umbrella of God's mercy and protection and preservation, you are bound to get into lack very soon. You are bound to land yourself into difficulty very soon. So this young man found himself in a difficult situation that he could not feed. 
there was no job. The one he got, they could not pay him. And he was even desiring to feed himself with the food that was meant for pigs. Even those ones, even that was not even available to him. But thank God, God showed him mercy. One day, the Bible said, he came back to himself. He came back to himself. And that is why we need to pity those who are living in sin, who are taking pleasure in prodigality. They are out of themselves. They are out of their senses. The Bible says when this young man came back to himself, he took a decision and he said, I will arise. I will arise. I will not remain here to die in pain, to die in penury, to die in, in hunger, when I know that everything is available in my father's house. Even the slaves, even the servants and the slaves in my father's house, they eat very well and they have more than enough. Why should I be here languishing in hunger and penury? I will arise and go back to my father. That is the call this morning. Why do you want to remain in sin? Why do you want to die in wickedness? Why do you want to die outside God? When God has everything, for you. When God has everything that you need to succeed in life, when God has made provisions to sustain you, to keep you, to give you prosperity, to give you good health, why do you want to remain in sin? Why do you want to remain in your disobedient and rebellious life against God? Why not take this decision this morning to arise and go back to God in genuine repentance, in genuine submission to his will and to his purpose. So this young man took this decision. And that morning, he took the step of faith. I will arise and go back to my father. And when I get to him, I will confess my sins to him. I will tell him I have sinned against you. He took the bold step. It was a step of faith, and he went back home. When he got to, this, to his father, the father was like he was expecting him to come. The Bible says that the father had compassion on him. Our heavenly father is a compassionate God. He's a compassionate God. He is willing to receive you. He is willing to accept you. It doesn't matter how far you have gone into sin, how depth you have fallen into the merry clay of unrighteousness, of unholiness, and of prodigal living. Take decision this morning. Come back to God in genuine repentance. I promise you under God, he is a merciful father. He will receive you. He will forgive you. The blood of Jesus is readily available to wash away your sins. No matter how dirty you are, God will surely cleanse you and make you his child. As you take this decision this morning, I tell you, you will not regret it. But you will open door of peace and joy for yourself and a door of eternal life for your soul at end. So what are you still waiting? Why not take this decision this morning? Arise and come back to the Father and he will surely receive you. Bow your heads as we pray. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, I want to pray for my listeners as many have discovered how far they have gone away from you. And through your word this morning, they are taking this decision. They are rising from their position, from their sinfulness 
an unholy life and they are coming back to you. Lord, in your mercy, forgive them. Lord, in your mercy, wash away their sins. Lord, in your mercy, bring them to your, into your bosom. And I pray that you grant them the joy of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I pray for you, my listener. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May the mercy of the Lord rest upon your life. And may the grace of God uphold you in your life this day. May he see you through. In whatever challenges that we confront you this morning, may the Lord give you success, victory, and breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. And remain blessed and rapturable. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com. Thank you.